hello there we meet again and today we are going to talk about the third phase of the nursing process which is outcome identification and planning on the care plan it is called objective strips outcome criteria and the planning aspect extends to nursing orders and we should understand that in planning care for the patient you should have known patient's problem at the assessment stage you should have gathered enough information at the assessment stage where you got what is wrong with the patient you found out what patient can do to help solve the problem and you also know your capability as a nurse you know the resources available all these will be needed at the, the planning stage and we also pick things from the diagnostics phase at the diagnosis level you label the, the problem and you gave it the course so if you know the course then it will guide us in achieving a goal so first of all you have to find a goal you have an interaction with patient you have identified patient as a problem what do you want patient to have after your interaction what do you want to achieve after caring for the patient and this one too is patient centered so it's not about what the nurse wants but what the patient will achieve or have at the end of the care so you should remember at the planning phase we are drawing guidelines to show course of action we want to get to this point i want to move from akimoda to accra where will i pass so first of all there should be an objective which is the destination and the course where will you pass to get to the destination and you shouldn't forget the guiding acronym which is smart that we use in planning and patient care so the smart acronym is smart goals is specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound any goal you set should have these things in them it should be specific your goal shouldn't be big you can't set a goal that patients will feel fine at the end of the care no what do you mean by patients will feel fine so if it is headache that you are managing you should say that patient's headache will reduce or patient's headache will be relieved now we know it is specifically headache you are talking about if it is vomiting you see or you should say that patient vomiting will reduce patients will not vomit again diagnosis is for fluid volume deficits you say patient fluid volume will be maintained by the end of what the care that is by the end of patients who will stay on the ward because it is risk for fluid volume deficits so it means you don't want us to get to that problem the patient is at, at risk of it are you okay good and measurable is when the outcome criteria comes in the outcome criteria that you will use is going to help us to measure if the goal is achieved so you should give a goal that is measurable pain is measurable using the pain scale and we using observations so don't set a goal that's too abstract that we cannot measure like the, the earlier one patient will feel fine how are you going to measure patient will feel fine uh, and it should be achievable within the time frame you are setting it should be achievable within your capability as a nurse your do you have enough capabilities to solve a problem that can only be solved with surgical intervention no if you are giving a collaborative diagnosis that is a diagnosis that will need help from other health professionals like a surgeon then you should have in mind that you have a surgeon who is going to aid in the care of the patient for you to achieve that goal or to solve that problem so the any goal you set should be achievable within the time and also within your resources your personal resources as a nurse and the resources of the facility you are working in and within even patient capabilities yes and then we come to realistic your goal should be realistic it shouldn't be out of reach it shouldn't be too much like based on faith it should be real and it should be time bound time bound is where we will be able to tell that you said patients will patients headache will reduce by the end of two hours so when it's two hours we'll come and check if headache has reduced that is the only way we can find out that your goal was achieved or not so these are the things the guiding principles of 
writing objective stroke outcome criteria planning phase involves nursing orders so you said you want to do this you want to achieve this goal and you you can tell the goal is achieved when patient is exhibiting this and that now plan how you are going to achieve that is nursing orders in the nursing orders you state what should be done and that is what is going to help us to achieve the goal let's also remember that nursing orders should be straightforward and simple nursing orders you don't tell the rationale for the task you don't tell how the task will be performed you just give an order it's an order check vital signs sponge patient feed patient administer prescribed medication pass ng tube pass urethral catheter take urine sample so that's a simple the words shouldn't be too many it reduces the the magnitude of the order now when we come to implementation some people just write implementation as the past tense of the order no implement order is straightforward and simple implementation is where you write a nursing intervention what has been done and also remember that the nursing care plan is not carried out by one person the one receiving the patient can draw the care plan for the patient but another nurse will come and continue the care and you have to still follow the plan so if somebody else wrote the order that checked the vital signs and you came and you checked the vital sign tell us how you did it or why you did it the rationale in relation to patient's problem so if it's check the vital sign then you in at the implementation side you add the vital signs was checked particularly respiration to assess improvement in patient breathing so you see that you have added more words to where the order is if the order was administer prescribed medication the intervention will be prescribed medication into brackets i am diclofenac 75 milligram was administered at 2 pm to aid in pain reduction if the order was um sponge patient patient was given a tepid, tepid bath with so so and so temperature to aid reduce patient um, temperature if the order was educate patient on her condition patient was educated on diabetes mellitus to enhance compliance with care so always the implementation though it is the past tense of the order it also has to have more added how it was done and why it was done any of them or both can be added to just the past tense of the order now let's look at evaluation which is the fifth and the last phase of the nursing process so now we have done we identified patients problems during assessment we have labeled the problem the nursing way we have drawn a plan to care for the patient we have implemented put the plan into action now what have we achieved and how will you know we have achieved something we go back and look at what we wanted to achieve we said that patient's pain will reduce from 8 out of 10 to less than 4 out of 10 so now if we are coming to evaluation we come and write that go fully met as pain cause pain as 3 over 10 or score pain as 2 over 10 so you have met the goal because the criteria that we, you said we should use to check your objective is achieved is evident then that an evaluation is always done after the duration that you give for your objective to be achieved if you gave three hours for objective to, to be achieved evaluation will be done three hours after problem was identified if you gave 72 hours if you gave two weeks if you get six months let's say you are you are caring for a patient with fracture so you are giving four months for that particular problem evaluation will be done four months after the problem was identified thank you